This video is all about building the five gallon bucket biogas digester that is explored more deeply in the book The Homeowner's Energy Handbook and all of the details you could possibly want to know about biogas and making it and using it at home are covered in that book. Here is a um, diagram from the book that shows the main components, the, the bucket, the balloon on the top for storage, there's a hose and a valve that leads to a Bunsen burner that you could use to test your gas. Here's all the parts you'll need. Hoses, couplings, adapters, clamps, a bulkhead fitting, and a balloon for gas storage. And we'll go over all of these parts. Of course, it all starts with a five gallon bucket and I know you've got one. Most importantly, the project needs to be airtight. The entire system needs to be airtight. So start with a really good lid with a good gasket in good shape. Clean it up a little bit before it gets installed and that will get you off to a good start. This hole has already been drilled for our bulkhead adapter and let me give you a tour of the parts here. Bulkhead adapter is what connects the lid with all of the parts that we need to pull the biogas out with. So we've got an assortment of hoses, half inch hose, quarter inch hose, adapters, a threaded T, threaded T adapter, a shutoff valve, just a PVC ball valve, an assortment of hose clamps, a balloon which will act as our gas storage, and a little uh, piece of hose that we we'll use for a gasket around the balloon. Also, there's some bronze wool which makes a great flashback protector. I'll show you about that in a, as we go. And finally, a Bunsen burner. This will be used to test the gas, and you need to get one that says artificial gas on it. On this one it says, does say artificial gas, and it's got a 1.3 millimeter nozzle. And these can be adjusted fairly easily. If you need more gas, um, you can very easily drill out this bronze nozzle. So that's it for the major parts. Let's put it together. We're going to start with the balloon assembly. We want to poke the balloon through this hose as a gasket to protect it from the pressure of the hose clamp. And all of that gets wrapped onto one end of this T-fitting. So I'm going to stuff this through Okay, the balloon is pulled through the hose gasket and I'm going to get a clamp around this to get us started. And then the whole thing gets pushed on to one end of this half inch hose barb fitting. without damaging the balloon. The balloon is now wrapped onto the T-fitting and the hose clamp is in place. Make this so that the screw is facing opposite the threaded side. And then we'll tighten this gets tightened down. I like to give this a little test first. No leaks. The next thing we're going to do is wrap our threaded T fitting with some Teflon tape. 
And then we screw this into the bulkhead fitting. Take this apart for the moment. Let's make it a good, firm, and tight seal. That should do well. Okay, next we're going to take a short length of half inch hose and hose clamp. Next we want our ball valve to go in. Okay, then we attach the hose to the other side of our ball valve. Next thing we want to do is reduce our hose size from half to quarter inch with a reducer. But before I do that, I'm going to take some of this bronze wool and stuff it into this half inch hose because it stuffs easier into half inch than into quarter inch. Don't need too much, but enough to get decent protection, which means you want gas to flow through the wool, but you want it to be, you want there to be some substance, some enough to protect yourself from a backflash. And what happens is if the gas does lose pressure and happens to, and the flame happens to start flowing backwards, to the digester, this bronze wool will put that flame right out. So that's in there. Next we can put our half inch to quarter inch adapter on. Another hose clamp, quarter inch hose and clamp. And this end will eventually be plugged into the Bunsen burner when we start producing gas. And with any luck, we'll have the right burner with the right nozzle and the right air mixture to get this to fire up. Next thing you want to do is test this whole system for air tightness by capping this with your hand and then blowing into the quarter inch hose. And there's a leak in here. So I'll go around and tighten up all my connections. Okay, the final step is to put the bulkhead fitting into the bucket lid. Gasket goes on the inside. This is a reverse thread for some reason. I got the wrong thing. And this has to be good and tight. It needs to be airtight, able to hold some pressure. Okay, this is what the top looks like now. And we're ready to load the bucket. Now we've got our bucket, got our lid with our gas collection bag, and our hose. We're ready to visit the farm and fill her up.